for today's playing around with some computer stuff and the CNC, I thought I'd show how to do a gear a real fast, simple, easy way using free software. So this is Inkscape, and we're going to use one of the features, one of the tools it has just to make a gear, and then convert that into G-code in a program called Mastercam, which is free, it can be run online or downloaded and run locally. And I'm running it locally. It's got to do it that way. So this is just the opening page for Inkscape. Go to Extensions, Render, and Gear. We can leave these parameters set up the way they are. Hit Apply. And there's our little gear. Zoom in a little bit. We're going to make this guy a little bit, a little bit bigger. When I'm in Inkscape, I like to set it up to run in inches. I'm just more comfortable with that. So let's change this from pixels to inches and from pixels to inches. So we've got our information at the top here. Let's make this a little bit bigger too. By holding control down, we can keep our ratio the same. So we'll do something like that. To use MakerCam, we need an SVG file, and Inkscape kicks that out really well. So we're going to save this as an SVG, and we're going to call this Gear 20. And now we've got the code for that. So let's go over to MakerCam and open it up. This is the opening screen for MakerCam. And again, this can be run online or downloaded and run locally. I've got this running on my machine here. So file, open SVG. Let's open our year 20. And there's the gear that we just made. So this is going to measure roughly one, two, three, and three and a half by one, two, three and a half, because we locked it so it should be the same. So we go to cam, profile operation, and this is where we set the depths of our cut and all of our particulars. So let's call this gear 20. Tool diameter, I'm using a quarter inch cutter. We're going to assume that this piece of wood is about three quarters of an inch. So we'll do this 0.76, just a little bit deeper so it cuts through. We want this on the outside. Safety height is fine. That's just a preference. And I want it to go down about a quarter of an inch on each cut. Feed rate, we go about 20 on my machine. And we're going to go OK. Next thing we have to do is go to calculate the area. Now it's calculated the cut. Make this a little bigger. There's our gear. See this little down arrow? That's where it will start its start its cut. Now we want to export this G-code out. Export G-code. We're going to call this gear 20. Let's call this gear 20. Now we'll open up Mach 3, load it up and see what it looks like. Your 20 and C for numerical control. And then here is the gear that we just designed. see the different levels for our cuts. Each one is a quarter of an inch. And then by holding this down we can see it go about its path. So this is a real simple easy way to design something in Inkscape. 
open it up in part cam, set some particulars, save it as an NC file, and open it up in Mach 3, and do your cut. It doesn't have to be a gear, it can be any design that you work out in Inkscape. Free programs and it works really well. So let's set up the CNC and see what this actually looks like. So we've got a piece of pine trim set up in the CNC with a little bit of a wasteboard underneath and the program loaded up in Mach 3. So let's go ahead and fire this up and see how our gear looks. See we've got here we've got we've got our gear looks pretty clean I'm gonna pop that off sand off the edges and we'll take a closer look so after just a little bit of cleanup there's our gear matches the design that we did on Inkscape brought it into maker cam it used to be called part cam now it's maker cam so sometimes I call it the same thing and there's our there's our gear fun project using free software and a DIY home-built CNC machine. This could be jazzed up with cutouts in the middle with a pin in the middle to really center it and all kinds of other cool things. So there you go. Thanks very much for taking a look.